It took me over four decades to accept my parents as a psychopath that they are. And part of it was because I grew up in what seemed like a normal conservative home. My parents were conservative Christians. We went to church every Sunday and Wednesday, youth group. We had Bible studies at our house. Our parents had us feeding the homeless and inviting the less fortunate into our home. We went on missions trips. We hung out with a pastor. I was required to be a good student. I had really good grades. I was also involved in soccer, basketball, drama, art, music. On the outside, I looked like a normal American girl. And yet behind the closed doors of my family's home was anything but normal. It took me over four decades to accept my parents for who they are. Because unfortunately in a child's brain, there isn't uh, the languaging of psychopath. And because we are so innocent and all we understand is love, when we experience something that doesn't feel love, we'll make up any fucking excuse except for what the truth is. And this is our sweet little childlike brain protecting us from a reality that we should never have to live through. And it's allowing us to live in this state of cognitive dissonance so that when we are mature enough, we can handle the pain that has been done to us and heal. I get that this is paradigm shattering and often a very lonely path to heal from because once you accept what's happened to you, it doesn't mean everyone else accepts what has happened to you and is going to assist you in your healing process. And this is why I've created my Soul Much Love group. Nobody should have to do this healing journey alone. And this is why I've created this experience to give you the tools and the loving guidance you need to unravel from this complex trauma and truly heal on a soul level. I got your back. I love you.